Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our special live show tonight, coming to you from Sofa Lounge in The Hague. And tonight uh, we're featuring you these uh, uh, guys that you can see on the screen there. Uh, it's a band called Vance Lane Special. It's a smoking hot Western swing band from the Netherlands, and uh, tonight they're going to be introducing themselves, uh, introducing their music. Um, uh, we actually recorded some songs here three weeks ago, and we shot some video. So uh, that's what we're going to be presenting, or what they will be presenting tonight. And of course, chillin' and chattin'. So, uh, you know, uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, if you have any questions for the guys, uh, please do, um, you know, leave comments in the comment section. Uh, give your reactions, let them know what you think. Of course, we want to hear and know exactly uh, how everybody enjoys the music and what you're thinking. So uh, we'll be doing a lot of chatting also about Western swing music. Some people may be thinking, like, what is Western Swing music? Well, we're going to answer all those questions uh, tonight and give you an idea of, of what that is uh, and uh, experience the, the groove of it and uh, just the joy of it. Um, and so uh, stay tuned. Don't go away because uh, the information is going to be coming at you for the next hour. And um, I guess, um, let me see, uh, the guys are there. You guys want to say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Music lovers. <laughs> so um, we got um, Haram sitting there behind the pedal steel, and he's going to be introducing himself um, shortly. Uh, and Peter sitting there. He's the double bass player. And um, not with us tonight is Ray, Raymond uh, Neuenhuis. Uh, he will be joining us later uh, via Skype. Uh, if we can uh, get it to work, I'm sure we will we'll, we manage this afternoon, so we'll do it again, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, so a lot of good information coming along. But, you know, I'm sure you, s you think to yourself, well, let's let's hear what this band sounds like. So um, I'm going to queue up uh, the first song, uh, which is a, a lovely old um, sort of like a, a cowboy sounding song uh, called Tumbling Tumbleweeds. Uh, and let's have a look. Here it is. Tumbling Tumbleweeds. Tumbling, 
Tumbling tumbleweeds, what a cool sounding cowboy song! I can just yeah. sort of, it, I can see an image of these tumbleweeds rolling through the through the deserts and through the prairie. That's the opening scene in The Big Lebowski where they use this song. I don't know if everybody's watched the movie with the dude. Yeah, but this is a song playing, and oh, cool. uh, it is a an old cowboy song. I think Bob Nolan yeah. wrote it. Okay, so um, I hope uh, the people, audience, that you can uh, can hear. If if uh, if it's not loud enough, please let us know. Um, make sure that uh, we try to speak up a little bit. Um, so, guys, let's um, let's do the introductions. Can you tell me uh, tell us who you are? Well, I'm Harm von Slane. I'm the steel guitar player in this band, and uh, sitting next to me, invisible, is Raymond Nijenhuis. And he will be able to introduce himself later on during the show. And on my other side is... Peter Wassenaar. I uh, play the double bass in this band. Yeah, right. cool. Yeah, so um, Nifty, you know, as a trio, uh, what a, a great uh, formation mm -hmm. because you, you, you guys can just fit in anywhere. It doesn't matter where you go, whether it's a big stage or a small little concert or a, a lounge room, you know, uh, yeah. it's a brilliant uh, combination. Um, Raymond and I, uh, we, we met uh, in a, uh, one of the bigger Dutch Western swing bands uh, called Panhandle Swing, a band formed by Barry Sellers, who is probably the biggest uh, advocate, um, the guy who really puts Western swing on the Dutch map. But anyway, that was, a, I think, a 12-piece band. We had three vocalists and piano player, drummer and everything. Yeah. And I was with the band for, I think, four years. And I think we played four times because the band was too large. So <laughs> we decided if we just remain a three piece yeah. and do the singing and the playing ourselves, then maybe we can fit in the yeah. average bar. Yeah. Well, sometimes, you know, sometimes smaller is better. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, I also um, I noticed uh, I, I only made the connection this afternoon. That's when the penny dropped. Your band is called Vance Lane Special. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, Vance Lane. Uh, yeah. Your surname is Vance Lane. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So <laughs> it it was uh, totally by accident. Um, well. One of my <laughs> no, no. One of my favorite steel guitar players. One <laughs> one from the early days is a guy named Joaquin Murphy, and very little recordings of him are available. But there was one CD when he played with Andy Parker and the Plainsman that he was on, and I needed to buy that. So I ordered a copy and I saw one of the songs was called Van Slane Special. I thought, yeah. this cannot be a coincidence. Wow. Yeah. This That's is like meant to be. like a divine kind of uh, message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You sent it to me. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, um, let's, uh, let's listen to another song. Um, and uh, as I said, the guys were here uh, two, three weeks ago uh, and they recorded uh, these songs, recorded eight songs. Uh, and the next one is an instrumental song, right? Yes. And it's called uh, Twin Guitar Special. That's right. And uh, let's let's take a look and a listen to Twin Guitar Special. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
twin guitar special. Uh, what a lovely sounding instrumental there. Nice to, to hear uh, the pedal steel and, uh, and the guitar uh, interacting. And of course, that really nice solid bass line going there, keeping the rhythm going. Uh, it's a pleasure to listen to and was also a pleasure to, to see actually in the studio. Um, um, so let's uh, talk a little bit about Western swing music. It's, it's kind of a slightly older form of music. Um, and uh, I have a little bit of background insight into Western Swing because I played in a, a Western Swing band briefly about you know 18 years ago, and I just remember kind of working really hard on the rhythm on the acoustic guitar. But the the instrumental parts uh, it, uh, can be quite complicated and quite intricate, and uh, you know it reminds me a lot of kind of what people do when they play jazz music. You know, it's got a fancy finger work going on, intricate riffs, intricate solos, chords, etc. Um, how would you describe Western Swing music? Well, I think you describe it very well. I think um, th um, the, the Western part of Western Swing refers to the more country, cowboy uh, roots of the music, but swing refers, I think, to the early jazz styles. And you can even hear the soloists doing stuff that was quite modern for those days. And uh, the, the Western swing music is sort of a hybrid of uh, old uh, cowboy songs, um, ho-downs, uh, fiddle tunes, polkas, but mixed with gospel, jazz, and even stuff that sounds like rock and roll long before rock and roll was invented. So it's really a hybrid of many styles. They used to be very large bands, and one of the important band leaders was Bob Wills. He really... Uh, is considered by many people the, the king of Western Swing. I think even the Rolling Stones wrote a song about him. He was very influential. I don't know. Can you see that picture? Is, is, uh, is that I think that's that's Spade Cooley's band. Okay. And and that was the other king of Western Swing. Yeah. <laughs> and this is yeah. Bob And uh, both had great bands. Yeah. Is that Bob Wills sitting on the horse there? Uh, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, uh, th they were very different bands. Bob Wills was very much into improvisation and he let his bands really loose and Spade Cooley on the other hand has a very tight arrangement but both bands featured a lot of these arranged solos where two instruments play harmony to each other's solo. Yeah. And um, uh, that's that was apparent in that song that you just uh, played. Yeah, yeah. Because you were saying to me earlier that um, you know, bands like the Eagles um, uh, and it was the Allman Brothers that they have these kind of um, dueling solos where they kind of play harmonies yeah. and yeah. Uh, and actually Western Swing probably kind of started that off originally. Yeah, I was uh, surprised even in that documentary about the Eagles, they actually mentioned Bob Wills and Western Swing as an influence and uh, I think uh, uh, many people forget about this music it's not uh, I think it's making a, a bit of a return these days but yeah but he was very influential mm. what are some of the underlying things in Western Swing music because I, I get the idea there's a lot of humor in it and also uh, danceability yeah it was d dance music uh, first mm -hmm. so every song needed to uh, that's that's one of the things that all the songs have <laughs> basically the same tempo because if it's too fast or too slow it's hard to dance to it so th that's uh, uh, well yeah. yeah okay well you know as I say this you've got this this cowboy theme that, uh, that you know I sort of get in my mind when I think of Western Swing music uh, the next song is actually called on the Alamo yeah <laughs> Uh, it's actually a love song, I think. But yeah, uh, yeah. So a lovely little song, and um, let's let's take a listen to uh, "On the Alamo." Here are the guys playing "On the Alamo" in Sofa Lounge. <laughs> Garden gate on the 
sounding song and um, well let's have a little chat with um, with uh, Peter 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 Vassenaar man I tell you what when you guys were here uh, recording the songs um, I loved watching you in action you know you kind of live the music it's mm -hmm. kind of it's in you it's in your core and the expressions and of course the beautiful playing as well passion it just shines through in what you're doing and, and that's of course is wonderful to see and to hear Okay. Um, but you're actually really not just playing bass in this band. You're doing a lot more because you are kind of like the rock, the foundation. You are basically the rhythm section that the band is building on. Um, and uh, you know, that's really cool to see one guy there with his double bass kind of mm -hmm. holding it all together. You know, um, Can you sort of talk a little bit about what well, your so role is? Uh, since there's no drums here, you know, you, you, you have to divide uh, certain things that you do. So, which are involved into the rhythm and into the progress of a song in its whole. So, uh, it can be different every time I play a song like that, you know. Yeah, actually, uh, I noticed that because some of the songs we did more than one take, and then in one take you'd have a one interpretation. Yes. In the next version, you'd have a different yes. interpretation. Yes, I feel comfortable uh, playing yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I also can play uh, an arrangement, of course. Yeah. But you never know what's there sitting behind yeah, yeah. the hill, you know, <laughs> that you have to take if you play a song like, like this, for instance. Yeah. There's always something that, that can, mm -hmm. can do it better. It's it's art. I mean, you respond to the moment, so, yes. and you respond yes. to what's happening. It's an outlet. Yeah. It's, it's for your for the feelings. Yeah, yeah. For my health, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. And I mean, I you know, I've been we've been friends on Facebook for a long time, so I've been you know sort of 
every now and again I see a post and you you have a lot of different things going on so it's not just Vance Lane special uh, all sorts of different things you're doing right mm -hmm. yes yeah I, I'm interested in, in different uh, kinds of music yeah also in jazz and classical music yeah yeah and, and um, in classical music and, and folk music of course yeah from all over the world because yeah that's the, the first thing that comes from the people mm. True, uh, yeah. And gospel, of course, <laughs> the big glue. <laughs> yeah. And well, as I say, it's it's been a, a real pleasure, you know, watching you in action, uh, watching Thank the whole you. band in action. But you know, as I say, uh, if people are watching the the videos, you know, you can see when it when when you're in the shot, you know, you're really getting into it. And uh, yes, yes, yes. That's I know, that's but <laughs> it's, it's something that that goes automatically, you know. Yeah, and that's that's great. Uh, really. Uh, it's a real bonus for the music and for the band. So, uh, if that's so, thank yeah. you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Take my word for it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, um, well, we'll be chatting some more shortly. Um, let's do uh, another song. Um, when I was a little kid growing up in South Africa, there was a program on television called Rich Man Poor Man, <laughs> and I believe it yeah. was a, um, a novel or oh, two novels um, written by Erwin Shaw, I think it was, Rich Man, Poor Man, and then Beggar Man, Thief. Um, and so I was wondering, the song, um, yeah. does it predate the novel, or do you think, I mean, I guess it must, because the novel was written in 1969, I think it was. It was sounds it? to me as if it is an expression yeah. that probably was used, so I don't know if, yeah, they, if yeah. they were connected in any way, the song and the, yeah, yeah. the novel. I, of course, I, I, think, I, think, I think it might be right, coincidence, yeah. but yeah. who knows? Maybe, yeah, one of those expressions that's been around forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, anyway, it was nice to um, to take me back to those uh, those days watching Rich Man, Poor Man <laughs> with Nick yeah. Nolte. Um, okay, so uh, let's uh, take a listen then to uh, Rich Man, Poor Man, Beggar Man, Thief.
rich man, poor man. So, uh, so a very nice, cool, gentle song there. And yeah. Hiram, you were just chilling there on your <laughs> on your pedal steel. Yeah, uh, very little to play in that one, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, let's have a, a chat with you a bit there, Hiram. Um, uh, also, you know, from uh, I've kind of known you for a while, and uh, it, it's apparent that you're a very talented guy as well, a multi uh, musician. You know, you, you multi instrumentalist, playing lots of different things, uh, playing in several bands. You've recorded some albums. One album that you gave me last week is absolutely amazing, well, beautiful to listen thank to. You. Yeah, it's um, kind of reminds me a little bit of um, you know, sort of Eric Clapton. You know, uh, uh, yeah. great, absolutely great stuff. Um, could you uh, tell us a little bit about your how you got into into Western swing music? Um, well, I, I mentioned briefly that I met Ray, uh, or that Ray and I were in a band together called Panhandle Swing, and the guy who started that band, Barry Sellers, he's really v he was very much he passed away uh, over a year ago, but he uh, he was so enthusiastic about this style of music, and I was I hardly knew anything about it, but he gave me records and uh, suggestions of what to listen to and I was amazed at uh, how many fantastic players there were mm -hmm. way back when that nobody listens to anymore nowadays and um, so, uh, two of the most inspiring uh, steel guitarists were uh, Herb Bramington and Joaquin Murphy. Joaquin Murphy uh, is the one that I learned that song uh, Rich Man Poor Man from. Yeah. And in those days they didn't use pedals. So uh, if you watch my feet on the videos, you'll see that during many songs, I don't use the pedals at all. Mm -hmm. Some really need them. What the pedals do is they retune the strings so that you can play chords that are otherwise impossible. Yeah. But most of it is just... Yeah. Should we sh uh, have a little demonstration? Uh, uh, let's just see if one of the camera angles can pick up your feet there. Yeah, that camera yeah. angle picks up your feet. Uh, give us a little sample of what um, what the pedal steel does and how, what it sounds like. Yeah. Um, I don't think the camera can pick up, but there's uh, knee levers as well. So if I move my knee to the left or the right, yeah, I uh, yeah, yeah, I also retune certain strings. And otherwise, uh, let's see. This is just open strings. Now, if I move one of the pedals, you'll hear that one note or two notes change. Uh -huh. wow. So that's the. Uh, the stuff that the pedals do yeah and on some songs you make the different notes by sliding this bar across the strings as you would do with a slide guitar yeah but sometimes it's possible to not move anything at all and just let your feet and your knees yeah find and there, the there are two there are two sets or two actual guitars there um, you know, yeah what, what is the difference between the two just the different tuning or yeah they're tuned differently and the pedals have different functions uh, um, for some sounds, you need the top neck. For instance, in country music, you'll hear a lot of stuff like oh that. That works better on this neck, and uh, the more jazzy stuff, which you'll hear in a few of the songs here, yeah. is on the on the back neck. And I know yeah. that the pedal steel produces some pretty bizarre sounds. Have you got a nice bizarre sound for us? <laughs> <laughs> I know I, 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 I played a few bizarre sounds for you, but maybe... Yeah. So we were saying this often, <laughs> actually, um, it, it kind of, you know, to yeah. somebody who's used to the pentatonic scale, it, it so yeah. almost sounds wrong, but it's, it's so yeah. beautiful and, um, you know, it's just part of the music. Yeah, I think the pedal steel has the the possibility to make what is wrong sound right yeah. and also to make what is right sound very <laughs> wrong so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. cool yeah. well um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's yeah. listen to another song um, <coughs> and it's uh, a rodeo down in Tokyo and we'll talk a bit about more about this song uh, afterwards um, and um, you know what what strikes me about this song and I think you told me as well when we were when you were recording uh, the, the humor in it. So well, let's talk yeah. about that once we've listened to the song, yeah. A Rodeo Down in Tokyo. And we've uh, also managed to connect with, with Ray. Um, he can probably hear me on, um, on Skype. Yes, I can see him uh, lip syncing or talking to me. Uh, we, we don't hear you at the moment, Ray, but you, we're going to bring you uh, live. 
um, in a little while. Maybe I can just show really everybody what, what Ray <laughs> looks like. Um, let's see if we can bring him. There he is. And let's unmute him so that we can actually hear what he's saying as well. Hi, Ray. Hi there, everybody. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Can you, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Well, um, I, I believe that uh, you, your voice is being heard in the in the broadcast, but I, I can't actually hear you, so it's, <laughs> it's going to be a, an interesting uh, chat later. But we'll we'll figure something out, right? Okay, so I'm just going to uh, leave Ray for a moment, and um, we're going to go and watch rodeo in Tokyo. <laughs> Grab your gun and off we go to fight those dirty rats across the sea. Grab your saddle off the rack, put it on your pony's back, and we'll grab those ranches with a fee. Remember, we need each hand to fight for Uncle Sam. We'll have a rodeo down in Tokyo and a roundup in Old Berlin. We'll rope them, we'll run them, we'll bomb them, we'll gun them when the Yanks go marching in. We'll hog tie Hitler and all of his crew, bulldog old Tojo and then We'll have a rodeo down in Tokyo and a roundup in Old Berlin. We'll have a rodeo down in Tokyo and a roundup in Old Berlin. down in Tokyo um, yeah so uh, it sort of links back to uh, the Second World War I guess <laughs> yeah a lot of these bands were um, working in the late 30s and early 40s and um, um, uh, most of the Western swing tunes are about the Cowboys and Indians uh, days their songs like the covered wagon rolled right along and tumbling tumbleweeds which we did so uh, when World War two was happening Apparently, they just <laughs> replaced the cowboys and the Indians with the Nazis and the Yankees, and <laughs> to me, it's it's very funny to think how uh, uh, how little worried they sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh, as if it's not really happening, and yeah, you yeah. know, we'll just. It sounds like yeah. like a fun thing. Grab your yeah. gun and let's go. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll hog tie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's the mentality of the time, I think. You know. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. maybe sort as a, as a sort of a fun adventure, going off to war and you know sorting out the enemies. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, this there is uh, a, a good dose of humor in in, in it as well. And and uh, yeah. the the last song we're going to hear later tonight, um, which Ray sings. Um, is uh, is a song called I used to work in Chicago and I was also quite <laughs> amused at the, <laughs> yeah. the lyrics but we'll talk more about that one later as well yeah. but let's listen to uh, the next song which is also an instrumental with an interesting name called 
a smooth one, like three O's in the middle there. I think we have Cherokee first. Oh, Cherokee, right, right, right. yes, yes, yeah. good. good that you Let's not forget you. that one. Yeah. One, two, three. Back again. Um, let's see. Uh, I imagine uh, that Ray, that you can hear me, and um, once I, I can hear you, all right? Yeah, I can hear you now as well. There might be a little bit of a delay. I'm going to bring you up um, on screen. So um, let's do split screen, and there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce you to Ray. Ray Nainhaus. <laughs> So uh, you on the, on the uh, we just listened to the song Cherokee, um, and you do a really nice guitar intro on there. Um, Hi guys, <laughs> cool man, nice to see you. <laughs> you're, you're far away from us. Where are you tonight? I'm in the the east part of the country, about 200 kilometers from the Hague. Yeah. So it was, is it was also a bit of a hassle hot to there. Is it also scorching hot there, like it is here? Oh yeah. Like our good friend Steve Grams used to say, it is hotter in the hinges, the gates of hell. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And it's like it's been like for a week and it's still going to go on for another few days. If we're just not used to it. Well, I'm not used to it here. So uh, I never thought I'd be complaining about hot weather. We've got the echo on full blast here and we're still uh, scorching. But uh, you've got a beautiful guitar there. Can you tell us a bit about your guitar? And maybe uh, could you demonstrate the intro from Cherokee? We might, uh, hopefully we can hear it. This particular guitar that I used on Cherokee in the uh, recordings is a 1938 Gibson ES-150, the so-called Charlie Christian guitar. Because Charlie Christian played one of these and uh, 
the track a smooth one which you will hear later is uh, a charlie christian and benny goodman recording which featured him playing this guitar well not this particular instrument but this model what i played there was uh, so, some sort of a, a, a chord melody chord arrangement of the melody so i'm playing the melody in chords Maybe I can do it with my fingers because I do it with the fingers in the uh, intro. Yeah. And I go into the finger picking pattern. Travis style, which is not 100% Western swing, but it's Western swingy. It's 40s style, and Western swing was big and hot in the uh, in the 40s with yeah. uh, amplified guitars. And that's uh, that's one of the things that attracts and attracted me to the genre. The guitar players that had uh, arch tops with uh, pickups or floating pickups. Uh, in this case, it's it's a built-in pickup, but if you yeah. play an arch top that is an acoustic one, like this one, which I used on Tumbling Tumbleweeds and uh, A Rich Man Poor Man, uh, you could fit a floating pickup on there to make it electric. And what happened back in the day with the uh, low wattage uh, amps, that you get that distorted sound which predates rock and roll. So if I hit the guitar hard through that little... 15 watt amp, or maybe 12 watt, you get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Man. Not as much as I want now because uh, uh, I, I can't turn it up now, the volume. Yeah. I can't, I should say. But yeah, yeah. you get, get the idea that it, it's, it has that. A little growl to it, you know, some. Yeah. Only with some hair on it. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful, you know, and I think there are a lot of guitarists out there like myself, uh, you know, blues guitarists and what have you, looking at what you're doing, listening to what you're doing and going, wow, shit, man, I, I'd like to be able to do that as well. It's, uh, it's absolutely amazing, stunning. Well, I so. invite everybody to uh, go to the uh, Truefire website. That's yeah. a publisher of uh, guitar educational material. And I have two courses um, released by Truefire. On the subject, one is called the 15 Western Swing Licks You Must Know, and the uh, the second one is the Western Swing Guidebook, which yeah. not only uh, goes uh, into uh, the, the soloing style of uh, Western Swing, but also the uh, the way of uh, playing rhythm, like Eldon Shamblin did. And Eldon mm -hmm. Shamblin is a, a great uh, rhythm guitarist. Actually, Rolling Stone magazine called him the uh, the number one rhythm guitarist of all time which is quite a statement, but yeah. he's absolutely one of my uh, favorites. And to give you an example of what he did, when he played a G chord in, in swing style, for example, maybe you would normally do something like this, and Alden would do. The melody is coming in there again. He would, he would play some kind of inner voice. Yeah. To, uh, sorry, I didn't get what you said. I think what we should do is uh, put that link for what did you what was the website called True True Fire True, True Fire is it Yeah True Fire Yeah so we'll, st we'll stick that uh, that website in the comments so if people want to um, you know learn some Western swing guitar uh, they can go there Let's um, let's move on to a, another song uh, a smooth one a smooth one with all the O's in it. Um, <laughs> Do you want to say something about it before I play it, Ray? Well, maybe uh, this is not necessarily uh, a Western Swing original, um, but it, this is what Harm just said. Uh, uh, a lot of jazz influences are, um, well, obvious in Western Swing music. It's Somebody in, in Holland said, uh, oh, Western Swing is, uh, in Dutch he said, is, it, it's like boeren bebop, like farmer's bebop so to speak, yeah. like cowboys trying to 
get that harmonic adventure sound into their cowboy swingy music. And uh, Benny Goodman, uh, we, who recorded a smooth one in the late ni- 1930s with uh, Charlie Christian, Christian. He, re- he recorded that. So they played it. Bob Wills, uh, there's a recording of Bob Wills, uh, and, and at least uh, there's the great Jimmy Rivers who recorded uh, yes. smooth. So the influence of Charlie Christian is 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 huge, I would say, on um, every electric guitar player that came after him. And in Western Swing, that's what I love about Western Swing. You can hear that Charlie Christian kind of, well, sound because he, they play this particular guitar. And also the, his style of, you know, the melodic horn-like phrasing, which was quite new back in the day. So a smooth one, uh, yeah, is, is, is an important historical song, I would say. Now I don't work there no more. Now I don't work there no more I used to work in Chicago In a department store I used to work in Chicago I did but I don't anymore Now a lady came in for a sweater What kind I ask at the door Jumper she said and jumper I did And I don't work there no more I used to work in Chicago 
work in Chicago in a department store. I used to work in Chicago. I did, but I don't anymore. Now a lady came in for a drink one day. What kind, I ask, at the door? Liquor, she said, and liquor I did. And I, I don't, don't work there no more. I don't work there no more. So, um, yeah, a nice, a, a nice fun song, right? I used to work in Chicago. Uh, she wanted gloves. What kind, you said? Rubber, she said. Rubber I did. Now I don't work there no more or something. It's <laughs> <laughs> I ripped, I ripped her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, well, to everybody that's been watching, I, I hope that you're able to see this, uh, the tail end of, of this it's a little add-on. Uh, we'll, we'll stick this all together and, um, and post it on YouTube as well with a link on Facebook so people can watch the whole thing and skip through it as they please. Uh, a lot of great information. I, some of the feedback that I've had from people tonight saying, you know, thank you really uh, so much, not only for the music, but the, uh, the education, you know, the finding out about the music and uh, it's been great. Um, so um, what well, the guys were thinking of doing was, uh, unfortunately, Ray is not able to do that with us with Skype, but just kind of uh, just kind of giving you an idea of what it sounds like and jamming a little bit. Yeah. Uh, there's an acoustic guitar standing in the corner there, so I might uh, jump in and strum along as well. Um, and I think Ray should join in too, and we'll have a nice 20 second delay between his contribution <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's how they invented delay back in the day, wasn't it? it was Skype. Yeah, yeah. This, okay. <laughs> this is uh, this is how delay was invented. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, we. Uh, it's been really nice chatting to you as well, Ray. And. Um, My uh, pleasure. Yeah. Well, uh, we're going to take you off the screen, and uh, but uh, hopefully see you again soon. And thank you so much for for joining us tonight. I know you're very busy with uh, other projects as well, so uh, good luck with that as well. So, thank you, John. I enjoyed it. And thanks for uh, inviting us to uh, the Sofa Lounge Studio. Hope to be back again. We wanted to say, you know, goodbye to everybody. Thanks very much for for coming, guys. Well, thank you very much for having us. Thank you, John, yeah, for thanks. having us. And we were saying that uh, that if people look at the description of this um, live video at the bottom, there is a um, a link to your website. Yeah. So if people want to get in touch with Vance Lane Special, you can go via uh, Haram's website. Um, and uh, yeah, of course, if you just uh, Google them, you know, there's all sorts of links and things that pop up, and uh, you can find them that way. So um, as promised, we're gonna do a little bit of jamming. <laughs> So um, let's uh, let's do that, shall we? If the wife and me is fussing, baby, that's all right. Me and my woman got a license to fight. Why don't you mind your own? Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. You won't be minding mine. If I want a honky tonk till a quarter to three, that's my headache, brother. Don't you worry about me. Why don't you mind your own business? Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. You won't be minding mine. Thank you. 
Everybody's business seems to be I talk You're just enough worries of mine and my own Why don't you mind your own business? Mind your own business Mind your own business Mind your own business If you mind your business You'll stay busy all the time Let's do a spontaneous thing. Did you ever hear of a song called Remington Ride? Well, it was written by Herb Remington, who also passed away not too long ago. Terrific steel guitar player. And uh, it starts off with a nice bass part. It's really warm. Yeah. <laughs> it's very hard to hold on to your picks and your bar, but well, at least you can. You sliding <laughs> nicely over the. Well, it was sliding all over my fingers. <laughs> all over. Well, well, thank you very much for thank joining you us. Much. Yeah, it's been uh, really, really good fun. Thank you guys. Thank, uh, thank you so thank much. You sure. and, uh, thank you again to Leo. And Leo, Leo yeah, of course, Leo from the nice. helm. And our mystery <laughs> guest over there. Nobody can see him. Nobody can hear him. But he's there. Yeah, yeah. he's there. <laughs>